UK 70s Progressive Rock, the new home for classic progressive rock. Now let's bang the drum for somebody who, three years running, has been voted Drummer of the Year. He's just taken delivery of a new kit, and here he is to demonstrate it, Carl Palmer. It was a stainless steel drum set. I was sponsored by British Steel. Eight different engineering companies were involved in the manufacture of this kit, which is the very first electronic stainless steel drum kit in existence. I decided to get a jeweller using a dentist drill, a chap called Paul Raven, do these hunting scene scenes on each of the drums. I'd seen them on Purdy rifles and I was quite impressed. There's a peacock, there's a beautiful squirrel, another nibbling away there, there's a fox. Really nice they are. And uh, there's even somewhere, I think, a hedgehog. Yes, there it is. And they said, did you want the shells a quarter inch thick or half an inch thick? And I said, what's the difference in the price? So they said the same. I said, I'll have half an inch. It was the 70s, excess. Not thinking it would take two guys to lift the bass drum. I know it weighs a couple of tons. Two and a half in actual fact. And you're going to be travelling with this all around the world. You're going on tour next yes. month, aren't you? How do you fly with it? Uh, very well, thank you. <laughs> the stage had to be reinforced. We didn't think of transport costs. We didn't think of, like, weight. It went on from there, decided to add the electronic drums, the very first electronic drums at the time. Everyone thought it was keyboards, but they were drums. <laughs> It's the 70s, isn't it? You do. Bigger the better. If there was something that was available from a technology point of view that would enhance the sound of the band, we wanted it yesterday. The ELP were busy establishing the power of British prog, conquering the four corners of the globe with tours built on showmanship. Technical extravaganzas light years away from underground clubs and hippie ideals. You know, you have to say that by 75, 76, it all got overindulgent. It just all did. See, this. this is a Hilton, is it? Hilton. Conrad, Conrad, if you're looking in, look, one soft one, one hard one. What the use is that? That's mad about. I mean, I remember <laughs> doing some filming with the LP. They had three 40-foot trucks. They, there was this moving ELP thing across it. It just seemed to me a betrayal. How could these people who are my heroes, you know, how could Keith Emerson do that? There was no finesse to my mind or, or sophistication or kind of... UK 70s Progressive Rock, the new home for classic progressive rock.